Okay. Good evening, gentlemen, no ladies here. So uh, a very warm welcome to this uh, session number three. This is the third, third session of the 10th Global Sports Summit as part of FITI Turf 2020. Uh, we, we are into the third session. This is the third session. We have had two sessions before this. Uh, one was on IPL and uh, Fiki couldn't miss it, but had to be IPL. Uh, uh, and the second session was on Olympics. And the third session is building sports brand. Uh, to be exact, uh, our, our topic is evolution of Indian sports brands. Uh, I kind of, uh, I was speaking to Vivek uh, yesterday evening and, uh, and, and Prasad as well. And uh, we kind of rigged this uh, session. <laughs> We said uh, we won't talk cricket. We won't talk cricket. We will talk sports uh, because I have been in this industry for almost 40 years now. I've been covering all major sports, including cricket. And I, I would reckon that between Vivek and Prasad, you two run two of the most famous, globally famous sports brands in India, which is the marathon and the badminton. And I'm extremely proud to say that you guys have done a fantastic job. Vivek has taken Indian athletics, especially marathon, to an entirely different level. I'll come back to that, gentlemen. Uh, first, let me introduce to the lovely panel that I have the honor to host. Uh, I will start with Mr. Uday Singh, who is the director. Uh, he's Mr. Uday Singh Meena. He's the director of the Department for Promotion of Industry and Internal Trade. A uh, very warm welcome to you, sir. Uh, Vivek Singh is very famous. We all know him very well because uh, he's part of FIKI. He's the joint MD of Procam International that runs the very famous marathons in India. Uh, welcome, Vivek. Uh, Prasad, Prasad Mangipuri, welcome to the show. Uh, Prasad, I have known Prasad for many years now. He has run the Premier Badminton League with a lot of difficulties and challenges. It has always come out with flying colors. We have another emotional Thank connect you. somewhere else, but not for that now. Welcome to the show. Professor. Thank you so much. Um, and uh, I have another guest on my panel. His name is Ram Kumar Subramanian. Unfortunately, I we know. have not been able to, uh, we've not been able to interact much, uh, but I, I, I believe you, you are an architect and uh, yes. you will have a lot of things to ask you in terms of architecture, stadiums, and other things. And my final guest on the panel is Vinit Agarwal. He is the co-founder and CEO of T10 Sports. Uh, he is himself an athlete, and uh, and, and not as and I think he's a very special athlete. He, 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 he's an ultra marathoner. He's a strong man. I mean, something that uh, very few people can actually dare to do so. So. Welcome to the show, Vinit, as well. Thank you. Thank you. So I think uh, Director Meena has to go for a meeting. <laughs> so, sir, if you would like to address the, this lovely gathering of very, very eminent people and very, very experienced people in their respective fields, it's over to you, uh, Meena, sir. <clears throat> Thank you, Mr. So Mr. Somitra. I I definitely want to address not only the lovely the, the sporting gathering I should I should be saying <clears throat> and so uh, I also extend my warm welcome to uh, to to the panel and first of all I I I wanted to thank you thank Fiki especially Pankaj for giving me this opportunity to uh, to speak up on the evolution of Indian sports brand and particularly the Indian sports industry. You people are st st stalwart in, uh, of the industry. And as you know, the sports industry in India is a century old industry. It has flourished. It is market market driven, mainly skilled forces, workforce is required. It is a labor intensive. And it also extends apart from being the sports industry, it extends employment to the to a large number of people in, 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 in lacks of employment generation is there. 
As far as I know, Indian sporting goods are popular all around the world, all around the world, and we have, as you have mentioned in the opening conversation, that we have made a mark in the global sports goods market. The discussions are on by Vicky in the various session. If I recall, we have our sports goods manufacturing center in in and around Jalandhar, Meerut, Jammu, Moradabad, Chennai, Agra, and Calcutta. Which 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 is about seventy five to eighty percent of of uh, our total production, <clears throat> but the industry has a huge potential. Since I am from DPIIT, I am I am talking mainly of industry. Please be a bear, bear, bear with me. Ma, ma, uh, yeah, uh, what what I have learned that uh, it is a traditional skill base, uh, highly labor intensive, very sp uh, specific skill and manual techniques are required. Sometimes it is a cottage industry. Uh, Home-based manufacturers are there. Uh, though uh, Somitra has banned that we should not talk about cricket, but cricket bats are also being manufactured by us. So I, I must, uh, as a part of the industry, I have to make a make a mention. But but uh, but but mostly what we manufacture are are inflatable balls. We beat a football, rugby ball, basketball. Cricket is one of the equipment. And then, then the guards, various kind of guards, chin guard, chess guard, and all. As we are uh, making our games and sports protective, and uh, as as we have we have learned, the department has come to know that in the in the recent years, the this industry has is a leading sourcing dest destination for inflatable balls and uh, other sports goods. That includes the general exercise equipments, which which, uh, which we we are exporting almost seventy percent of it. There is a growth. Apart from the exercise equipment, the hammocks are also there, which are which are the which are being exported by India. And our our exporting destination are are European Union, USA, and Australia, UK also. And whereas whereas I since this panel is there, I wanted to flag one one issue. We are we are importing a lot also, and particularly one country, as you are all aware. And and these are attributed to high value of treadmills, component cross trainers, etc. And and. and uh, if we if we if we study the potential of, of our country, we are not lacking, but we have to realize and put to use the underutilized resources, and we have to make it a, as a manufacturing hub. Um, fitness industry is if we if we talk about fitness industry, it is far less capital intensive than the automobile industry. We uh, uh, though it requires major. Uh, uh, major funds, but 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 we, if we can produce automobile, we can produce fitness industry also. That is our view. And if we talk about the labor labor, though, which is the essential part of the industry, sports and uh, gaming industry. So we have adequate number of labor forces. There is no dearth of highly qualified engineers. It requires a mechanical an IT engineer to to develop. So we have we have all all those. We can produce all these equipment domestically, and we can ensure the design also. And we and, and as uh, as the country is changing, the views are changing. The we we are we are moving towards a fit India. The the fitness is is uh, realization about fitness is part of our our thinking. So it has a great potential, though. We, we, uh, we lack certain resources. It is right now underdeveloped. So, and the growth of the industry, I feel, if the sports industry grows, it will help both the manuf manufacturers, investors, as well as uh, it will. We will also regain health. Uh, uh, we will live a healthy life. So, the the time is right when when our prime minister, our honourable prime minister, has. We has given a vision of fit India, Kelo India. We we should we should contribute and 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 to top it all, we have to make 
and make the country atmanirbhar bharat so why not sports and, and fitness industry we have to achieve this goal of atmanirbhar bharat and vocal for local for in 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 this uh, in this industry also and 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 uh, since fiki has given me this opportunity to interact with, with the with the industry players i would uh, uh, i would request that the ideas to be given so that the government can work upon with the industries to to take, take it to ne- take it to next level and achieve the achieve this goal of atmanirbhar bharat and vocal for local and i wanted to hear in the in in the years to come the uh, about a indian domestic manufacturer brand uh, which is being used internationally that is all i just wanted to focus and actually i wanted to hear from you and and on my personal personal friend i i am also a, a sports person i had been a sports person and a athlete competed uh, at, at very various level been a selector for for, for some of the um, some of the games and i have been always associated with the sports association so when when fiki gave me this opportunity to speak upon without a minute i said yes and but but right now my role is different but i am happy that from this side also i i will be able to contribute to 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 my my area of interest which is sports uh, and and i i i um, uh, i would then have now uh, request mr somitra bose to take to take the meeting to the next level and what evolution can be done about sports brand what are your ideas i i'm i'm excited to hear thank you thank you thank you sir thank you mr meena um, i will have a first bouncer for you and the bouncer from this panel the right man to throw the first bouncer will be vinit because he is the he is the only person in this panel who is directly involved with manufacturing because he leads a company called t10 sports and he is into manufacturing of athletics leisure brands and he has been associated with some of the biggest properties of sport which includes ipl and uh, i think i will ask vinit to tell meena ji the ease of doing this kind of a business in india what's your perception vis a vis whatever he has said see the current policy in india we feel it's it's good and it's a yeah it's a, we lost it the audio is not okay Need? Can you check your audio? Yeah, slightly. It's muffled. Yeah. 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 Please go ahead. Please go ahead. All right. So we see a huge opportunity in India right now, with the government also favoring to the Indian sports, it uh, Indian industries, and uh, considering like uh, the in the. we are currently in the manufacturing of over rolling in rolling in aapka aapka awaaz thoda gaabal la raha hai hello hello uh, vinith you can try putting off your video probably it will get better aap ek kaam kariye aap video switch off kar dijiye sirf audio mein rakhiye फिट इंडिया प्रोजेक्ट वेरी इंटेंसली अपार्ट फ्रॉम यू नो रनिंग द बेस्ट मैराथन इन दर्ल्ड विवेक although marathon is uh, a sport where you don't need a lot of equipment but i'm sure the intricacies of hosting such events especially when you're associated with something called fit india and marathon uh, what mr singh said uday singh ji said that ease of business of doing in india has it got better that's my question 
So first of all, thank you, Somitra, and thank you to Fiki for for having this wonderful program every year, the Turf program. Uh, yes, I believe you know India's entire sporting psyche has have changed in the last couple of decades, and I've seen a change in front of my own eyes. Sports was never the center of conversation. You know, we were always relegated to the back pages, and that's where we stayed. Today, it's a very different conversation. Today, it's a very different narrative. We have seen in front of our own eyes in the last two decades how six grams of metal, just six grams, and that's how much gold there is in an Olympic medal. Six grams of metal can lift the world of a nation. We have seen sports move to the center of many, many conversations. People talk about the good old days. Let me assure you, for sport, there was no good old days. These are the good days. The way athletes were treated before in the past, you cannot even compare it to today. The administrators are so much more enlightened today than they ever were. So in many ways, I feel we are in a sunrise industry. And I feel the next 10 years, India is going to see a sporting resurgence on all levels. We must thank the Honorable Prime Minister. His vision of the Fit India movement has done wonders of getting people involved. The Kelo India Games, the Kelo India Youth Games, with their own separate budget, is fantastic. Thousands and thousands of athletes have an annual platform to look forward to. We had the national games before, but that did not do the same justice and was every once every four years. So in many ways, we feel that the conversation, the narrative of sports, the psyche for sports has changed in India. Parents are not just pushing their kids to do mathematics and engineering and medicine. Parents are also putting their kids to, to play football, run marathons, play tennis. So the entire ecosystem is something that is relevant. As far as ease of doing business is concerned, yes, we are at the very base of the pyramid. Our events are gender neutral. Our events are age neutral. Thousands of people from across the social economic categories of India participate. And it is a challenge to get all the authorities working on one page. But we have been able to demonstrate and we've been able to show that time and time again that we can do it successfully. A recent case point in which you may want to come to at some other, uh, some other stage in this conversation is the successfully conducted Airtel Delhi Half Marathon just less than two weeks ago in the capital in the face of all kinds of challenges. And that's because with the government of India, the government of Delhi, the administration powers, Sports Authority of India, Athletics Federation of India, World Athletics all came together. So I would say there is a transformation happening in front of our eyes when you talk about sport. The youngsters are more enthusiastic about sport. Cricket is no longer the only sport by a mile. Many other sports from tennis to football to running are taking more and more center stage and that's obvious. And yes, there's a renaissance. This is a renaissance period for sport in India. Absolutely. We make uh, uh, very well said. In fact, uh, I would take this question to Prasad because uh, in terms after you, the kind of international level athletes you have brought into India via the marathon. I mean, the only other event where we have the best of the world is badminton. And all I credit, to, and all credit, all credit to, Prasad. to Prasad and his team. Yes. And I think we've seen the best of badminton players in his tournament, the Premier Badminton League. And uh, the best thing is not just the matches, but the, the clothing that the teams wear. Uh, uh, Prasad, can you tell us that, you know, apart from the challenges of hosting a Premier Badminton League, which itself is a separate discussion. Uh, in terms of, since we will stick to the brands and manufacturing and other things, what does badminton entail and how easy or difficult it is to do it? Especially, this is a great platform because if you have an issue 
I think this is the right time to raise it to Mr. Singh. Uh, thank you all, I think, for all the kind words, Mr. Shamitro. I think I'm going to be a little more candid because idea is to, you know, know uh, get better and better, you know, idea. So, so I'm going to just put forward a few things which we experienced basically. I don't know, Shamitro, if you're aware, uh, three months back, there was a major shuttle shortage to the point that, you know, the national uh, camp had to shut down in Hyderabad, you know, at Gopis Academy. Okay, so uh, taking it from there, in our league, all the shuttles which we use to play come from China. They're the world's best, even the Yonex brand, shuttles come from China. Yes. So why, I mean, I'm, I'm dreaming for a day when I think, you know, I can have my own, I think, you know, brand of shuttles, like, you know, with which I can play the equipment. In today, uh, I don't know if you're aware, if the, uh, as per Amazon's uh, statistics, 25% of the uh, sports equipment sales online come from badminton. But I think, you know, out of which how much is from uh, Indian uh, brands? Look at it. Because I think, you know, uh, we know because badminton is the fastest growing on ground participative game. I know how many academies are coming up on ground regularly. In fact, we are on the verge of launching the largest grassroots program uh, in the next two months' time once I think this uh, COVID thing, you know, gets back to normal thing. So, in fact, we ourselves, I, I forgot to mention, we also being to be uh, expiring manufacturers. We have plans to start manufacturing the shuttles because recently BWF has also approved certain outdoor shuttles. So we believe it's a huge opportunity. Today the biggest constraint of Batman is indoor. If you play, if you want to play a serious game, you need a, you need a stadium of which costs a crore rupees. So now this with this outdoor shuttle, even now people play outdoor, but, but you can't play seriously. I see in my own complex, you know, the families playing, the father and daughter teaming up against the mother and son, they play. So we have this huge opportunity. We are already ready with the business plan. We even identify the land. But I'd like to know from Mr. Uday Singh, what kind of support can we get? Because we also can become the global supplier of this one. For like, uh, you know, from this thing. So equipment. So why should I think, you know, like, you no, know, be at the mercy of China, even to play shuttles. Like you said, if you can uh, manufacture satellites in the country, I can make shuttles also. So I would like to, I think, you know, maybe uh, take it offline to see what all can be. And one more just point, I think, like Vivek said, I think, you know, I am seeing a huge change with the parents. They're willing to send their pair, uh, children to the sports academies, put the money, they're saving up money, I think. But I think, you know, we need to look at it in a comprehensive manner, not in a peaceful manner right now. Because today, 70% of schools in Hyderabad don't have grounds. So where does the child go? Today, in the traffic situation, how many parents can take a child after the school hours to academies? Some far I mean, Sindhu's father used to do 10 years back. But today, I can't take my daughter to academy one hour away, one way, and again bring her back. The best situation for a child is to play, uh, to learn the school. That's why I took it up, I took it up on a, as a myself as a mission. I launched India's first sports school called Gordian Sportopia. You, you, can, all, you can all log in and check Gordian Sportopia. It's only functional for last one year time. It has 21 disciplines of world class facilities, world class facilities, all run by the best in the India. Gopichan, R. Ashwin, S. Raman. You know, R.B. Ramesh for chess, Mr. Manoj of Indian National Coach of uh, Gymnastics. We bring in the best, Anju Babi George, Ramesh of Athletics. So these people are training the children from the scratch, from six year old thing. We want to produce champions from the school by ourselves. So I think, you know, we need to provide that, I think, you know, and coming back to even my own game, I mean, my biggest drawback is my stadium infrastructure. These stadiums are old, some 20, 30 years old. Every time I had to start paint, uh, with the painting the stadium, Fixing the loose, fixing the uh, the uh, the uh, flooring. So I think we need to look at like you no know, in a comprehensive manner. Yes, Kelo India I think doing wonders, but it, it it also has to match with the bottom up. Because today I must give, I must provide the opportunity for the twenty crore children to play sports seriously. Then your medals will become byproduct. Today we are we are creating programs for medal winning, but if you have twenty crore children play all the sports regularly, seriously, in a, in a structured manner. I mean, India will be in the, in, in the top three in the world, automatically. So we've been, I think, you know, sending forward proposals. I think, you know, I'll be too glad to be part of this, I think, you know, movement going forward. I've been talking to Mr. Sandeep Pradhan many times in the last three, four years' time. I keep meeting him every at every opportunity. No, that's nice. In fact, uh, I think you've raised it at a very valid platform, especially when Meenaji is here and so much willing to help. It is always have to, it is always nice to have a bureaucrat with a sporting bent of mind. And uh, as you rightly said, that you know he's all for sport. 
And uh, Meenaji, I will come back to you on what Prasad said. He spoke about the issue with shuttlecocks, which is a very, very vital ingredient if you have to play or pursue the sport of badminton. Uh, how, how will the government look at the proposal that or the business plan that he's just spoken about? Thank you, Mr. Prashad. <clears throat> Thank you, Mr. Sumitra. Uh, uh, Mr. Yeah. Prashad, then I'm good to hear you. And, and, and as the meeting pro started, that we uh, uh, the meeting has already focused that we will not talk cricket. So to, to start with you, you have taken taken a field where where India is progressing and and that too the ladies are leading. Absolutely, sir. So 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 it, it is a double bonanza, uh, and and the point you you have put forth these is that the, the traffic was and what what. Um, uh, P.V. Sindhu's uh, father uh, was able to do it. Uh, these days, we cannot do it in, in cities. Even even I am a proud father of daughters, and I I have not been able to help them with with sports with, with my, my my official assignment. But I I have been posted in 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 rural locations also at small location. They are definitely. I have played with them, as you you rightly pointed out. Parent uh, uh, parents playing with, with with kids. I and I enjoyed. I took them to the to the badminton academy, um, purchased shuttlecock and racket and all. But that time I didn't realize that that uh, it is all imported. I wish that uh, that and uh, my, my my children myself and. And the children of uh, children of India and, and the players should play with, with Indian products. The domestically manufactured rackets. The shuttlecock is a very nice example. And what is so com complex, which we cannot produce. The, the our department DPIIT is the policy making department. What you need, we are there. But sometime back, very recently, we have increased the import duty also. That is a negative way, in a way, now, so that so that we can we can uh, we can uh, support our our domestic manufacturers. But uh, but still, the, the, that is, that is not adequate. And maybe we also wanted to explore which all products are being imported. And if there are malpractices under invoicing, the industry should should bring bring it forth so that we can we can plug the gaps. We are we want to help the domestic manufacturer, and everything should be produced, and we should export. Yes. We have to change the change, change the story now, and and in this in this COVID time, and and what well, we we should take it as an opportunity, and with with, uh, with honorable PM leading. Right from beginning and and giving giving uh, giving this uh, slow, slogan of Atman Nirbhar Bharat, people should come come forth and uh, not only the sports player, the the leagues all also and in a way hand holding has to be done by the government by the industry at the local level. We have to synergize. We we have to come together. So we have to harmonize the, uh, uh, our our actions. We uh, we can. Um, uh, we are proposing that we will uh, we will put in place an import monitoring system for sporting equipment also i don't know how much it will be helpful but maybe maybe if we, if we can if we can focus on which all sectors which all equipments are being imported and which can be produced in india we have we have to not only put restrictions on import we have to we have to augment our capacity also yes sir. Yeah. absolutely absolutely in fact so, uh, uh, that is what synergy we we wanted and the government is is willing whatever what kind of support you 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 want want to have we will give it another point i i, I just and you have touched upon one one more point that you have opened a school which have all the facility. My my heartiest congratulations for for for, ta for 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 taking this lead. But I but the, this 130 crore one uh, uh, population of uh, of uh, um, populated country. We have we have small schools. The government school. The very poor poor, 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 poor poor children are there. I personally feel that oh we have a we have a sports period and a games period in school. 
we have to promote more sports in the school and during the school time itself they should have more time for for physical education and maybe some of the best talent we should we should do a talent hunting at at a very young age at at a very ripe age in the school this is my view uh, apart from the industry point of view thank you sir thank you, thank you sir uh, miyagi thank you very much for your comments in fact uh, uh, i think this is this can just be a starting point to many such discussions between all the stakeholders especially when you are heading something as important as the government uh, before uh, before i joined this discussion uh, i dug up some statistics uh, and, I, and i and and was and i found that the indian sporting industry is worth 91 billion indian rupees which is a huge jump in the last the 20 20 billion jump in the last two years and and from global standards which where the, the development of sports is at at 5% india is growing at 15% i think uh, these are some amazing statistics which have come out i also found out that the ease of doing sporting businesses in india at a global standard india is ranked 77 we were out of 100 a few years back so these are positive signs i think we should appreciate uh, meena ji's department the government's department for all the things that they've been doing uh, prasad you mentioned about infrastructure and i think you talk about infrastructure we have ram kumar who's an architect and you know uh, ram kumar are you there ram kumar can you hear me Acha, I I I don't seem to have Ram Kumar. Ram Kumar. Ram Kumar is an architect. I think he would have been the right man to talk about how globally uh, the standards of stadiums, infrastructure, and with a view to have the best audience view is being happening. Anyway, we've got uh, Vinid back online. Vinid, are you there? I'm there. I'm there. Yes. Yes, so I think uh, we had to cut you out because you lost your connection. Uh, you yeah, still, uh, you and, have heard. I, I, I couldn't hear. I couldn't hear many of you. What you have said. I will. I will. But, I will uh, round it up for you. I mean, we were talking. Yeah. We were talking about the ease of doing business. You are into right. manufacturing business. Right. You are with. Right. Yeah, you are manufacturing so many stuff. And right. Udayji spoke about all the good things that the government is doing. Prasad right. spoke about the. I mean, he he obviously uh, focused on badminton and shuttlecocks. Right. That you know, three months ago, that uh, the Gopicha the academy ran out of shuttlecocks. And right. can can you tell us your experience uh, in manufacturing uh, leisure goods or athletics le leisure goods? Because uh, right. today, right. wearing the color of your team is so much important. Yeah, that's right. No, it is indeed is the most important thing because that's what people see what you wear. but the biggest challenge still in our country in the sportswear is that we are still dependent on imported fabric because uh, the the performance fabric although in are coming we are still the market the our, our industry is still not that matured and it will take a long way to go uh, uh, we are looking forward to huge investments in this industry where we can claim that we will be able to uh, provide the quality goods for that of course the government need to do more because the import duty on the raw material on the fabric and everything is still too high so either the duties has to go down or huge investments has to come in the backward integration for manufacturing fabric because currently if you see like at least 15 to 20% of our fabrics we are still importing from italy we are importing from taiwan we import from china china so that we can match the quality of what we give to the athletes uh so yes but uh, what it was 5 years back 10 years back we are still at a much better situation right now and uh, i see a huge potential in this industry and indian brands to come in deji would you like to take uh, vinit's question that he spoke about the quality of uh, you know the is there anything that the government is planning to do no, i just want to add uh, uh, and once again reiterate the government sir government is uh, is right now focusing on the domestic manufacture domestic industries if if, if vinit and, and uh, person uh, vinit and, and his friends want to manufacture yes government is there 
and uh, vinay tana let me let let me tell you uh, like in government has already uh, giving subsidies in 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 the various backward areas if you, if you are able to put up industry in, in northeast or in himalayan states so uh, we 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 are supporting those industries which includes the sports industry also and right. and the states also have a, have a different uh, various states have, have their different kind of uh, motiv motivational subsidies the, the support system that they are they are providing and to top it all the msme is also there, there is a msme department is also extending support and uh, and and to uh, uh, bring the trade in favor of the domestic manufacturer we have prophesized based upon the industry feedback uh, we have, we have implemented the uh, the increase of import duty uh, from 10 to 20% Uh, uh, and with an idea that it will it will benefit the domestic manufacturer like you so that is that, that is our idea the you are your manufacturing uh, the, the uh, sports equipment the, the t-shirts and all maybe the textile ministry will be of of, of help to you also the, there are schemes right. which have to be lo looked upon and right. but still still dpiit having a uh, overarching role we are we are we are open for all kind of of suggestion and maybe uh, we can put forth a uh, some kind of um, uh, some kind of uh, uh, policies for that uh, to to support so um, after a, uh, a discussion with the stakeholders uh, this meeting can be also be considered as one of the stakeholder meeting for that purpose very nice way those are very encouraging words i think uh, people like vinit who are into this manufacturing business prasad who's trying to do many things including run the one of the best leagues in the world, in, in india and uh, uh, i think uh, uh, vivek mentioned that this is a sunshine sunshine industry and this is where things are going to improve can only improve uh, i don't uh, is vivek there or have we lost him is vivek there yes very much sir Yeah, and, Vivek. Okay. Vivek. So I I have okay. a I have a question for you. You you've been one of the stalwarts in in hosting administration sports. How would you link the industry of manufacturing with the evolution of a sporting brand? How important uh, it is. I, I I I I will make it a little simpler for you. Like we all follow Barcelona Football Club, but we also love. the t-shirt that they wear the, the jersey that they wear we all follow manchester united we love their color red the, how is branding and you know the clothes and the jersey that you wear how are they interlinked how emotionally charged can a fan be no, i think vinit uh, vinit ji put it very succinctly he says you know you are the clothes that you wear are very important and you are seen by the clothes that you wear so when you come to sporting merchandise or sporting apparel that takes on a whole different avatar yeah. Yeah. the team jersey is something which is sacred i wouldn't just call it apparel anymore it's apparel till it becomes a team's jersey it's, it's apparel whether it so when it becomes a team's jersey it is become something sacred becomes hallow turf and that has a very very important connotation in the fans mind in the club's mind in the brands that sponsor that team's mind and in india this is a law and order issue because we have so much of plagiarism Correct. you have a good jersey and immediately the copies are available in the market at 1/4th 1/5th 1/10th the price the the jerseys you talked about of barcelona etc and vinith can correct me and even prasad ji can correct me they are 35 and 40 euros a jersey 100 euros sometimes 100 euros prasad ji says yes so it is and there's a reason for that is not because the material costs 100 euros it's because now you're talking of something which is sacred you're talking of something which is part of the history of that club so we also have to evolve in that space and people like t10 have to be given that support because they're building an indian brand in the face of nike adidas puma it is incredibly difficult i think what what people like kabinith and others are doing is incredibly difficult so i would i would feel that manufacturing of sporting goods manufacturing of sporting apparel 
should be given a premium place, given some concessions by the government to really encourage more and more people to take on the international giants that we have in India today. I think I, just, uh, uh, I would, uh, Prasad, I'll come back to you. I think there's one brand, uh, uh, Meenaji, I would like to mention that which seems to get lost in the heap of other brands is a brand called Shiv Naresh. Many of you may have heard the brand called Shiv Naresh. They used to, at one point in time, sponsor the Indian Olympic team at the Asian Games and they have sponsored. But why have these brands not got the you know, the share or the, or the limelight that they deserve. Is there anything that uh, the government is thinking in terms of bringing the focus back on brands like Shiv Naresh? I mentioned Shiv Naresh is because this is one brand. I have seen it as a journalist, as an athlete, especially they were very much associated with Thank you. Uh, Mr. Somitra, you mentioned our Shiv Naresh. I have. I have. T-shirts of Shiv Naresh uh, still with me, the entire gear with me. I I I played, uh, I purchased them. I I played and I was wearing wearing the Shiv Naresh brand, and it it is it is it is nice also. I this is my personal opinion, not an official opinion. I am mentioning. So uh, and as you said, Dana, this brand is lost. Again, it is the competitive world. It is an international com competition. So we we have given uh, the import is so so heavy and it is cheaper. So so uh, obviously as a as a customer, people must be purchasing the the imported brand. And here right now the the government government is is prophesizing that we have to encourage domestic manufacture. We have to and the government is giving a platform that even in sports, yes, the sports industry to promote a brand. We are we are we are there, so we have to come together and 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 roll out a policy which will be favoring it. So right now it is a sunshine part. I uh, I the word I, I am borrowing from uh, Mr. Vivek. It, it is a sunshine day for sports and the good days have started now. So we we should come come together and collaborate. Thank you very much, Prasad. You wanted to say something. Sorry, I cut you there. No, no, I said, I think I'll just try to add to what Vivek said, because, you know, like uh, the fans must have the, the pride to wear the, you know, the original. For example, every three years, I invest, uh, the, I'm using the word invest, in uh, Ferrari t-shirt. Every three years, I buy the one original Ferrari t-shirt because it's become my, personal, uh, my personality. It's, you know, the pride in wearing that original, authentic, you know, uh, thing. So I think even the, in case of Vinit, you know, Vinit only manufactures, unfortunately. The, the original brands, like with the CSK, Mumbai Indians, they have to emphasize the fact that, you know, fans, you go and buy this, you know, authentic one. That's, I think, you know, because of, uh, the, uh, those brands have to create the pride in their, in their own merchandise. Because when a, when a fan wears it, it becomes part of his personality. He's making a statement. By being a fan of X brand or X uh, 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 team, he's saying, you know, like, no, I'm, I'm part of this particular with the brand. So I think there, I think those brands also have to invest in creating that loyalty and the pride in their brands. That's when people, I think, you know, last year we also launched our own merchandise. What, we sold some hundred in the entire, I think, you know, during the uh, three months time? Because we priced them at uh, $6.99 with our embroidered logos, everything. But you could only sell only, 100, uh, only 600, 100 pieces directly. That, that, that's a problem. That's definitely merchandising has still not come through because of various reasons. One was, of course, plagiarism that uh, you know Vivek mentioned, which is a big problem. Like Vinit, I'm sure he feels the heat of plagiarism because, you know, uh, what is 100 euros for a jersey you can buy for 100 bucks in maybe in one of the shops in, in Delhi. Uh, so it's like that. So these are things, safeguards that will have to be put in place. Uh, we've had a conversation with everyone except Ram Kumar. I, actually, I, I, Ram I actually had a few points I wanted to mention here, if I can get a chance. Yes, Ram Kumar, we're waiting for you. No, we, I, thank thank yeah. you very much. Please go ahead. Please yeah, go actually, ahead. I'm getting adding. Sorry, actually, I was having a little bit of a network. See, uh, thank you for this opportunity. Actually, I'm coming from the other side of the whole discussion, which is the infrastructure. So yes, we focus yes. mainly on the development of sports infrastructure. We are pretty much working on all the domestic and international leagues across the country. Over the last seven, eight years, we are the leading consultants for infrastructure. 
Uh, so, so one of the major things we realize during all these discussions is like what Prasad, you're talking about the, the shuttlecock. What we see in terms of infrastructure cost is the surfaces. Now, if we have been working with Sports Authority of India to develop this idea of very cost effective, low cost training facilities across various levels, whether it's a district level, village level, to the national high performance centers. But everywhere we see the biggest cost is the surfaces which are all imported. A, a, a running track costs around almost 10 crores to lay. Now we cannot spend 10 crores at a district level to train, but unless we, but, and if you compare this to our GDP and compare it to the GDP of let's say European country, for them this, when you look at it in Europe, it's a very reasonable number. We should be able to develop these kind of surfaces also locally in India so that the cost comes down drastically. So that would be a major achievement to actually promote sports of having quality surfaces affordable at a very low cost across the country. Otherwise, we'll never be able to install badminton courts, which cost 5,000, 6,000 rupees a square meter across like various locations. And unless kids practice at that facilities, they can never train at the international levels. No, absolutely. In fact, so the, a lot of support is required from even the developing that kind of uh, facilities. Absolutely. Uh, Infrastructure has to be there. I think Prasad wants to say something. Please carry on. Yeah, I think uh, I know that it doesn't come under Mr. Uday Singh's I think, purview. But I think, you know, in India, the infrastructure can be built only by the government. I cannot build a, uh, you know, a grand stadium to host my league. Because, like, you know, the only government can invest in infrastructure. Like, uh, yeah. if somebody, uh, if, if somebody can come to the school, I'll show you. This school costed 185 crores to build it. Not everybody can. Luckily, these people couldn't afford it. They have a long-term vision. But not everybody can spend 185 crores to build a, you know, in a 28 yeah. acres a sports school. So only government has to come forward because, you know, I can't spend 300, 300 crores to build a world class sure. stadium. And uh, I, right. I think Mr. Ramkumar would agree. And you're going forward when you're building the stadium, it's just not building a concrete structure. It yeah. has to be, for example, today the world, uh, you can engage the fans, you know, the stadium can actually interact with the fans to enhance the yeah, fan, like, fan experience. So uh, we yeah. need to, uh, we need to get the best of the world. You know, like the like, like the Levi Stadium in in California. Correct, so I've been there. Yeah. yeah, without that, I think you know, like uh, we are, today the, uh, the we want to experience the best in every aspect, whether the car, telephones, everything, even the sporting experience also. Like I'm bringing the world's best, uh, the Olympic gold medalist, silver medalist. But the stadium is if it's dilapidated, if there are no toilets, if I had to bring, you know, last year Samitra in Bangalore, I had to hire 14 vanity vans for the loose. We have hired all the film stars uh, vans to the to you know for the loose. Yeah. So this no, is where only government can do it. Absolutely right. That, this that is the base. Mr. Ramkumar, no, you have to see, for example, design. when you are developing for the FIFA, under Mr. Ramkumar yes. can give the fantastic design, but the funding has to come from government only. No federation, no team, no league. You know, only BCC can spend uh, spend money on building a stadium. No other federation can build stadium in this country. Immediately. No, you're right. I, 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 I like, like to, to rightly say to... most of all our engagements are with like various. Yes, the, the role of the government in building infrastructure is absolutely mandatory. So, yes, uh, it is nice to have people like Mr. Meena, who has been extremely encouraging for people who are in the manufacturing unit. But yes, you need more such people to pull all their resources. And as Prasad said, make sure that the engagement of the fan is the best when you visit a stadium. Correct. Then only then only the ecosystem develops. I think... For, Prasad, you must envy Vivek. Vivek has the entire Luton's Delhi at his disposal. Absolutely. He doesn't need to build a stadium at all. So he, he has the luxury of Luton's Delhi, John Langley yeah. Stadium, and all he has Marine to get drive. are the best athletes. And, and Marine Drive. And Marine Drive, yes, of course. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, one last uh, wrapping up comment from Uday Singh Ji, uh, because we need no, to no. close this discussion. Uh, Pankaj is after me. So, yes, I will come to, I'll come to you, Prasad. Please, Uday Ji, please carry on. I, I, I'm, I'm just, just adding to the point what Mr. Prashad has made. There is a difference play, playing playing on, on, on a well, well laid turf and, a, and an uneven. And, and that is very essential. For, for if you want to build build up sporting talent and to take them to the international level, you have to provide the right kind of environment, right kind of surfaces. Then only then only they can they can they can move ahead safely and 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 achieve success for the country. This I I want to add. 
Thank you very much. Thank you very Thank much. Was you. your last comment? No, 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 I just want to. I, I have this favorite line. I tell everyone on the, any every discussion. I tell people, Batman is. Uh, we tell people there's only territory where the Chinese fear India today is badminton court. It's the only place where I think you know uh, India, the Chinese fear Indians. So and you know, in fact, I think you know we've been told recently by Yonix other people that I think the Chinese apparently are feeling threatened by our league because our league has become so popular. All the players from every country look forward to taking part in the league. So in fact, I think they're trying to scuttle the league, our league. So it's a huge achievement for us in five years. We built a league where Chinese are feeling threatened by the Indian league. So that I think you know, I, I tell people is a huge you know achievement for us. Though we're losing money still, it's a different <laughs> context. No, so, no, no. but I think, but you I think we will, we will show the Chinese guys. I think you know we we can also yeah, build you, the world. You, 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 and Vivek have two of the best sporting products India can ever. No, no, I think Vivek Build is amazing. I think Mumbai Marathon is one of the truly global brand out of India. If you look at the olden days with the Mohan Bagan, he's been But today, I think Mumbai Marathon is amazing. I think it's a, no less because it's a, it is very. It is one event that brings at least five world champions together. Many of my friends uh, train throughout the year for that uh, for that uh, one one marathon throughout the year. They, they train throughout the year. Let okay, like Rash, Vivek. Rash, Rash, last uh, comments from you. Your comments, your thoughts, your last comments from you, Vivek. No, I think everybody has spoken very eloquently, and I first of all like to congratulate Prasad on his grassroots initiative. I mean, that is something incredible to have that vision and to do it. I think that I, I would submit on behalf that the government now needs to make sports a more priority sector. Absolutely. There has been a lot of emotional support and patting the back, but I wish they would come in now and give us the real incentives, the real reduction in tariffs. GST for sports sponsorship is at 18 percent. Exactly. Reverse exactly. charge mechanism has made sport sponsorship so expensive for the promoter because he gets no reverse, he gets no offset credit. I think these abnormalities need to be corrected and we will, and we're not just asking from the government, we will pay back the government, not just in terms of pride and prestige, but in terms of employment, in terms of various other softer aspects. Sports can be a very powerful, soft power, I love the way Prasad said that the Chinese are really scared of one thing. It's their badminton prowess coming to a coming to an end. So I think sport is a huge soft power that can be portrayed by India on the international stage. And I would humbly request the government of India to now really pay some attention and give it the priority it deserves. Absolutely, and, and if you can take uh, take away the shuttlecock business from China, so be it. So we are done. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, gentlemen. Uh, Uday Singh Meenaji, Vivek Ji, Prasad, uh, Ram Kumar, and Vinit Agarwal. It was a pleasure hosting all of you. And thank, thank you, you very much for sparing time on a weekday. Thank you. Have a, have a good evening ahead. And we will let the next session start in a few minutes. Thank you very much. All the thank best. You, sir. Thank you. It was very interesting. I, I, I could not leave, leave, the, leave the arena. <laughs> very kind of you, sir. Very thank kind you, sir. of you. Thank, thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, all the panelists. Thank you, Uday, sir. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, Bankar. Thank you. Thank you, everybody.